Hey y'all, it's another day and I just got home from work and uh, you can tell what kind of day I had based on how my hair looks. So it definitely needs some redoing. Um, <clears throat> so I got those seedlings or little seeds in my seedling tray and uh, I had a birthday. So uh, I got some things, which is really nice. Uh, I got definitely an improvement to my seed situation. And then I got something really nice too. I'm gonna show you. All right, sitting here in the back of my truck, I got my arbor. I'm so excited. Um, it's gonna go in that area where the verbena was uh, planted that we had talked about because I need to redo that gate because that gate is unusable right now. But um, that's gonna be in an upcoming video. I'm so excited, guys. You have no idea. Now let me show you my other improvement. I got myself a proper seed starting station here, my friends. I actually have two more grow lights coming and uh, I have plenty of heating pads underneath all of them for plants. And gosh, guys, they are looking amazing. Look at these. Wow. So exciting, oh my gosh. Look at those beauties, all of them. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but my columbines are starting to come up. So that's those there. Oh my word, so exciting. Oh, it's so exciting. I'm gonna do a few more seed trays now. And then that's gonna be it, because I know I'm really late to the game because um, I am past my frost date. I am a couple weeks past my frost date. We are still getting a few very rando nights of 40 degrees, but we have been solidly in the 70s for a while now. But at night, like I said, it might get 48. Um, so I gotta get my game on if I'm gonna do some more seeds. Uh, some of the sunflowers that I planted almost a week ago have sprouted too. And um, I may have found a few more seeds at my local garden store uh, because we went on a little shopping trip for me to get some more plants. Uh, I'll have to show you those in another video. But um, I got some more seeds. So let me show you what I got and what I'm probably going to be planting today. I got these two uh, sunflowers. They are so cool looking. And then I'm gonna do these four o'clocks. Some good information on the back for those. Looks like they get about 30 inches tall. Woo, this is my score. I was looking for Cicleome. Oh my word, I love these. And then I got one arborant. I've never uh, really seen any of these in person. So I'm really curious to see how these are gonna work out. This one's called Joseph's Coat. I looked really closely. The basil has sprouted on that last batch, um, but some of the others have it. And uh, I'm gonna give them about another week or so, because I think by 14 days they're supposed to be rooted, or at least sprouted, I mean. So if they don't wind up sprouting, I'll probably just stick some of those Cleomies in there. And then I also got another Cosmo called Summer Dreams. It was really pretty. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do and this is the Summer Dreams one. Um, this grows to about 36 inch high, so it's pretty high for Cosmo compared to some of the ones I have. And then um, I had to, just to let you know as a little update, my, uh, the reason why the rack is inside instead of outside in natural sunlight is I've been infiltrated with fungal gnats. And I read that can be a real issue with seedlings and uh, I've, no, no lie, I've had fungal gnats take down a small Japanese maple tree or two in my day. And they are a real deal in Florida. So what I wound up do to battle it is I removed as much of the fungus that I could see the larva was growing on from the surface. And then I sprinkled everything with cinnamon. And uh, I guess they just don't like the way cinnamon smells, but it looks like my problem has been eradicated. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead. I've got six of these little trays and we're gonna fill them up and put these beautiful seeds. And I'll show you how big they are with each one too.
All right, so the soil is um, wet enough where I can form clumps, but it's not wet enough to squeeze any real water out of it. So this is just perfect for what I want to do. All right, so I would say a little over half a bag did uh, six of those trays. And uh, we're ready now for the fun part, which is opening up some of these packets and seeing what we got. All right, <clears throat> so first um, up is going to be Summer Dreams. Uh, these will bloom about 60 to 65 days um, from probably germination and they grow to about 36 inches high and um, they bloom in summer. So here we go. Uh, I could possibly sow these right now outside according to the map on the back, but uh, whenever I've tried doing that, seems like birds or critters get to it. I got a lot of voles and things here. All right, <clears throat> so I'm probably gonna put two or three in every cell and I'll have some left over, it looks like. But that's what these seeds look like. They're kind of long and thin. And we're gonna put them into the cells and then we're just gonna bury them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, that was just about perfect. There's two or three in every container. And then, I do know that I have heard that some seeds do need to have like uh, a lot of sunlight. So these probably could have just been laid on top and they would have rooted. Um, but the back directions uh, do say that you want to cover with a quarter of an inch soil. So we went ahead and did that. And Cosmos are annuals, but sometimes this is what happens with annuals where I'm at. Um, they uh, seed themselves and then they'll come back next year. So they'll just reseed, which will be nice. We'll, we'll hope for that, right? And I've already made up my tags. So we'll put that in there. All right, so next we have Magic Roundabout. And these are supposed to get really tall. Um, I do like the color on them, but we're gonna do one of these right here. And then being that it's a sunflower, I do expect it to be pretty big. I think what I'm gonna do is they don't give you a lot in the pack. I'm probably gonna plant out the whole, the whole batch. There looks like there are uh, 10 seeds and so in the Cosmo it looked like it was more like uh, I only used like half of those seeds so you do get a lot more Cosmo and there we go okay we're gonna close her up now So we'll go ahead and do this sunflower next. Let's see how many seeds they gave me in here. Oh. 
Wow. So this one gets to be four, four or five feet tall. They bloom in 55 days. And it is, I hope I'm saying this right, Chianti hybrid. And with this one, they only gave me seven. So seven seeds for that one. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open the Kiyomi. And I might just go ahead and put those in the extra uh, sections. No sense uh, that soil going to waste, right? Oh yeah, and we got a ton of these seeds. This probably isn't even half. And those seeds are super tiny. I don't know if you can see those very well, Ooh, but they are very, very small. So we'll put like maybe three or four. Four o'clocks. Holy smokes, they feel huge in here. They get to 30 inches, they bloom 60 to 65 days out, and they should germinate in about a week. So be curious about those. Oh yeah, man, I'm just saying, these babies are huge. Let's see, Ten. Put two more out here, because I think I'm only gonna put like one of these in each of the cells, because they are massive. Great, all right. I'm just gonna push those down a little bit too. Yeah. Okay, now I can bury them. And that is the amaranth. So that looks pretty exotic to me. It says that they will get up to three feet tall, eight inches across, or 18 inches across. Uh, and yeah, definitely heat and drought tolerant, which is nice. Uh, requires very little. Uh, this is actually Joseph's coat on that. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. Oh, they're tiny. Very, very tiny. Ooh. I don't know if you can see how tiny, but they're also very reflective. They're very shiny. Okay. Put a couple of those. I know some people like to do tooth toothpicks. And then I'm just going to sprinkle all over. Um, I'm just learning. I don't have those advanced toothpick skills underneath me. And I'm just having fun seeing if I can grow something. Something pretty. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm so happy you're along with me on this journey for planting seeds into flowers. I hope you're able to go out into your world and make something beautiful. And until the next one, bye y'all.